Pain was established in 2009 in order to help families deal with addiction and their loved ones that are in particular are dealing with it. Nobody raises their hand when they're growing up and says, I want to be a drug addict when I get older. We are a referral group that refers to inpatient and outpatient facilities. We provide family support for the families that are dealing with a loved one. We also provide sober living homes for, for those in recovery. I had a 23-year addiction to opiate medication. In 2001, when I got clean, uh, I started looking at how I could give back. And I waited a number of years because recovery takes some time. And so in 2008, we started formulating a plan about how, how we could give back. So I started going out and telling my story to uh, high schools and universities. We had people coming to me and saying, hey, can you help my son? Can you help my daughter? And all of a sudden now we turned into a, into a referral group. Since 2009 now, we have seen close to 2,000 families. We have sent close to 700 people to inpatient treatment and countless number of people to outpatient programs as well. There's too many places out there that think that once the 30 days have been completed, that they're cured, they're fixed, whatever you want to call it and the realization is that they're not. Sober living, again, is critical in one's recovery. It's teaching them how to develop into young men that know how to deal with other people's problems as well as their own. The mission is to make the noise, make people aware, let them know that this is real and it can happen to anybody and anybody, anybody's family. Opiates now cause more deaths in the United States than, than car accidents and gunshot wounds combined. If we don't get a handle on this soon, we're gonna to continue to face more deaths, more addiction, more lives ruined than we've ever faced before. And I'm thrilled that the country now is talking about the opioid crisis, and there are people on board with this. There are still major changes that need to be made, but at least we're starting, but at least we're starting. We have been charged with the duty, with the task, to make a lot of noise about addiction and about the opioid crisis that's going on not only in Fresno, but the rest of the country.